The candidates. These are the candidates of 2018. The rules of the game are simple. I contacted each candidate and asked the campaign to send over the top three priorities should they be elected. The following is what I learned. For candidates that didn't submit, I summarized their top three points from my research of their platforms. United States Senator. A senator serves as one of two senators who represent California's interest in the United States Congress. A senator proposes and votes on new national laws and votes on confirming federal judges, U.S. Supreme Court justices, and many high-level presidential appointments to civilian and military positions. This year we have Kevin DeLeon and Diane Feinstein. Kevin DeLeon did not submit, but his website indicates that he'd be most interested in the environment slash clean energy, transportation slash housing slash infrastructure, and immigrant protection. Diane Feinstein also did not submit, but her website indicates that she'd be interested in LGBT equality, jobs and economy, and immigration. The governor. The governor oversees most state departments and agencies and appoints judges. The governor proposes new laws, approves or vetoes legislation, and submits the annual state budget to the legislature. The governor mobilizes and directs state resources during emergencies. This year we have John H. Cox and Gavin Newsom. John H. Cox did not submit, but indicates via his website that his interests are affordability in California, environment slash energy, and education. Gavin Newsom also did not submit, but indicates an interest in education slash economic growth, infrastructure slash housing, and social change and California values. The Lieutenant Governor. Lieutenant Governor assumes the office and duties of the governor in the case of impeachment, death, resignation, removal from office, or absence from the state also serves as president of the state senate and has a tie-breaking vote, and chairs the Commission for Economic Development, is a member of the State Lands Commission and the Ocean Protection Council, and sits on the boards of the California University Systems. This year, we have Eleni Kanalakis and Ed Hernandez. Mr. Kanalakis submitted that he's most interested in the economy, education, environment, and women in the workplace. Ed Hernandez did not submit, but his website indicates an interest in education, jobs and economy, healthcare, and the environment. The Secretary of State. The Secretary of State, as the state's chief elections officer, oversees statewide elections and provides public access to campaign and lobbying financial information. The Secretary of State also maintains certain business filings, authenticates trademarks, regulates notary publics, and enables secured creditors to protect their financial interests. The Secretary of State preserves California's history by acquiring, safeguarding, and sharing these state's historical treasures. This year, we have Alex Padilla and Mark P. Muser. Alex Padilla did not submit, but his website indicates primary interest in voting rights, economy and jobs, and campaign finance. Mark Muser submitted that he intends to restore the integrity of our elections, remove from the voter rolls those who are dead, have moved, duplicate voter registrations, fraudulent voter registrations, and non-citizens. He wants to increase military participation in our elections, as California has one of the worst military participation percentages, and establish proper audits on California elections so that if anyone attempts to hack our elections, they will be caught and prosecuted. Controller. Controller, as the state's chief fiscal officer, serves as the state's accountant and bookkeeper of all public funds. The controller administers the state payroll system and unclaimed property laws and conducts audits and reviews of the state operations. The controller serves on the Board of Equalization, the Board of Control, and other boards and commissions. This year we have Betty T. Yee and Constantinos Rhoditis. Betty T. Yee again did not submit this year, but she indicates via her website that she's interested in a fair tax structure, retirement security, and climate change. Constantinos Rhoditis submitted that his highest interests are defunding the high-speed rail, stopping the service and labor tax, and repealing the gas tax increase. Treasurer. As the state's banker, the treasurer manages the state's investments and administers the sale of state bonds and notes. The treasurer serves on several commissions, most of which are related to the marketing of bonds, and pays out state funds when spent by the controller and other state agencies. For treasurer, we have Greg Conlon and Fiona Ma. Greg Conlon did not submit anything, but his website indicates an interest in pension reform, startup businesses, and California's credit rating. Fiona Ma also did not submit, but her website indicates an interest in veterans, domestic violence prevention, and children's health. Attorney General. As the state's chief law officer, the Attorney General ensures that state laws are enforced and investigates fraudulent or illegal activities. They head up the Department of Justice, which provides state government legal services and represents the state in civil and criminal court cases. The Attorney General oversees law enforcement agencies, including county district attorneys and sheriffs. 
For Attorney General, this year we have Stephen Bailey and Xavier Becerra. Stephen Bailey did not submit, but his website indicates an interest in enforcing the death penalty, ending our sanctuary state status, and enforcing the three strikes law. Xavier Becerra also did not submit, but indicates an interest in healthcare, environment, and standing up for immigrants. The Insurance Commissioner. The Insurance Commissioner heads the Department of Insurance, which enforces California insurance laws and adapts regulations to implement the laws. The Commissioner licenses, regulates, and examines insurance companies, and answers public questions and complaints about the insurance industry. This year, we have Ricardo Lara and Steve Poisner. Ricardo Lara submitted that he's interested in healthcare, education, and the environment. Steve Poisner submitted that he's interested in disaster relief, cybercrime protection, and healthcare. The Board of Equalization. The Board of Equalization heads up the Department of Insurance, which enforces California insurance laws and adopts regulations to implement the laws. It licenses, regulates, and examines insurance companies and answers public questions and complaints about the insurance industry. Because this information only applies to people in each district, I'll scroll through and you can just pause when I get to your district. Superintendent of Public Instruction. This year we have Tony K. Thurman and Marshall Tuck. Tony K. Thurman did not submit, but his website indicates an interest in keeping students safe, prioritizing funding, and fighting Donald Trump. Marshall Tutt also did not submit, but his website indicates an interest in investing in teachers and principals, modernizing education, and supporting diversity in the classroom. Supreme Court nominees. Our first nominee is Carol A. Corrigan. The following is pulled from Wikipedia concerning her history as a judge. On December 9, 2005, Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger nominated her to the Supreme Court of California to replace Justice Janice Rogers Brown. Corrigan was confirmed in this position January 4, 2006. Corrigan's notable opinions include a March 2, 2017 ruling in City of San Jose v. Superior Court that emails and text messages on personal devices of government employees are subject to disclosure under the California Public Records Act. In 2012, she dissented in a case concerning the statute of limitations for claims of abuse by a priest. In 2011, she authored the majority opinion in Save the Plastic Bag Coalition versus City of Manhattan Beach, in which the court upheld a city ordinance banning plastic bags, reversing the appellate court. In 2008, she wrote a dissent in the same-sex marriage case, viewing that while she personally supported same-sex marriage, it should be up to voters or the legislature to decide, not the courts. Carol Corrigan describes herself as a moderate Republican who admires Justice Sandra Day O'Connor. Leandra R. Kruger. Leandra Reed Kruger, born July 28, 1976, is an Associate Justice of the Supreme Court of California, the court's second Yankist appointee, and a former Obama administration official. Kruger earned a Juris Doctor degree from Yale Law School, where she was Editor-in-Chief of the Yale Law Journal, and a Bachelor of Arts degree from Harvard University, where she graduated magna cum laude and was a member of Phi Beta Kappa. Kruger was born and raised in the Los Angeles area and is a member of the State Bar of California. There isn't much that I could find on her judicial history. She's younger, and there just isn't that much online. So these have been the candidates of 2018. Thank you very much.